Today I'm going to show you how to make your own folding leg portable shooting bench. With a few uh, simple tools uh, and some inexpensive parts, you can make a bench that's uh, way better for you than one you might spend hundreds of dollars for out of a catalog. We'll start out with a, with a list of uh, parts that you're going to need. Uh, a two foot by four foot handy panel, plywood handy panel you can get from uh, your uh, home improvement store. Uh, and some number 10 wood screws, inch and a quarter. Uh, some wood glue, a couple of tools you're going to need. Um, you're going to need a, a jigsaw. Uh, it's nice to have a, um, a circular saw. You'll also need a, uh, a drill, uh, preferably with a one-inch uh, wood boring bit, some varnish and paint brushes, and that's it. The legs I use to make today's shooting bench are uh, called Rugged Buddy Sawhorse Legs. They're made by a company called Target Precision up in uh, Los Angeles. Uh, the nice thing about the Rugged Buddy legs too, they produce a table that's about 34 inches high. If for whatever reason that's too tall for you, uh, all you need to do is just take a hacksaw and cut the legs, trim the legs to the length that uh, you need. Alright, let's get started. Start out by cutting off a 3 inch section on the end of your handy panel. We're going to use this part later on to stiffen the table. Okay, the next step, take a uh, piece of scrap plywood, uh, oh, maybe five inches by four inches or so. Um, place it on the edges here. A little bit of wood glue and then a little clamp it down and we'll zap a couple of wood screws in to hold it down. All right, repeat this step on the other side. Next step is to attach the brackets for the legs on your block. I've pre-drilled some holes to the correct depth so that we can get a good bite on our screws. These are nice heavy-duty screws so that your table has a nice good support base. Alright, the next step uh, once the leg brackets are installed is to uh, install the legs. Pretty simple uh, process and uh, if you use the rugged buddy legs all the hardware is provided. Here's why I like to use these rugged buddy legs. They're so simple to install and they just snap right into place when you open them up. Boom. And that's a very, very solid leg. Here's another view of uh, both sets of legs installed. Operation of the legs. Very nice and solid. And they fold flat. Next we'll flip the table over take your jigsaw and cut out the corners okay next we're going to cut out our shooters notch uh, the measurements of course uh, are up to you I like to measure about 20 inches down and measure about 14 inches over from the side. And then uh, draw my cutout. It's going to be about a line about 18 inches here. We'll make sure that's straight. Then we'll take these two lines, connect them. And then we'll take either your uh, jigsaw 
or a combination of your jigsaw and your circular saw to make this notch cut out. Okay, the next step is to uh, cut a couple of holes and uh, make a hand hold for the table. One final step uh, in making your bench is taking that original piece that we cut off, off and gluing it onto the bottom of the table to act as a stiffener. I not only glue it, but I'm going to throw some wood screws in there to secure it as well. After you've got your handle cut, uh, just take some sandpaper, smooth down all the edges, and then uh, I recommend uh, a couple of coats of uh, varnish to keep uh, the table sealed, uh, or if you want, uh, paint it. You can also make this table using just regular standard banquet table legs that are available at Home Depot or maybe even office supply stores. They make a table that's a little bit shorter than the uh, Rugged Buddy legs. Uh, it sits about uh, 31 inches high as opposed to 34 inches from the Rugged Buddy legs. Uh, when you install these legs, just note that in order to fold them flat, you need to block up one side of them using 2x4s. That way the legs will sit flat. Thanks for watching. And remember, don't buy a crappy bench or spend hundreds of dollars on a nice bench. Build your own. It'll be a fun project and it'll last you for years.